What's up guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video. Welcome back to Colo Craft. Today I'm back at my camp. I'm back at my camp because I'm bored. I'm bored and bored and bored. It's been a while since I've been outside. Uh, I've been staring at the same four walls for the last few days uh, and I've had enough of it. So last night I was trawling around on YouTube trying to find uh, inspiration or, or motivation ideas for ways that I could improve my camp because this is pretty much the only spot that I can come to that I know I'm safe and secluded and I'm not going to meet anyone. So, as I say, I was looking around trying to find some inspiration and I watched um, a video um, from TA Outdoors who has an absolutely brilliant bushcraft channel. If you haven't seen it, you know, do, do go check him out because he's amazing. Um, but I was watching a video where he built a Viking house. Uh, him and some buddies went into the woods and they built an entire rustic Viking house and it looked absolutely amazing. Now, I'm not doing that, um, namely because I don't have anywhere near the amount of knowledge that I need to in order to make something like that to make it properly and make it safe. I also don't have the resources out here. I don't have any friends um, out here, at least anyway, uh, to help me, so I'm not doing that. But uh, I did see something in that video that I thought was really cool. The way he made his fire pit, um, I thought was brilliant. He dug out a trench and lined it with loads of rocks and got um, like loads of sort of uh, wet mud uh, and used that kind of cement, I think. At least I think it was wet mud. It is, he didn't say anything. He didn't explain anything throughout the video that I watched. It was quite hard uh, to work out what he was doing, but I think that's what he was doing. Um, but anyway, it looked really cool, and that's what I'm going to replicate today. So I'm stealing his idea. I'm going to try and dig out my fire pit, line it with rocks so it looks really cool. Um, I do think it will also help um, protect the fire reflector that I've got. The last time I was out here, my fire reflector, when I had a bigger fire, it could, the back of it, um, parts of it sort of started catching on fire, started smouldering a bit. So I thought if I line some rocks along the back of it, uh, hopefully it will protect the bottom log uh, as well as stop that from happening. So it'll look cool, protect my uh, fire reflector, and hopefully kick out a bit more heat. So that's my plan for today. So uh, come along with me and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so this is the current state of my fire pit as it is now, obviously. Um, so the plan is to clear all of this stuff away. This is the remnants of my little Beltane fire that I had when I uh, got caught in a thunderstorm. So I'm going to clear it all away uh, and we're going to dig down into the earth. I'm going to keep the same sort of size, so I'm going to stick to the, um, the same kind of uh, dimensions that it is now, uh, but dig down into the earth. Uh, as you can see here, the back of my fire reflector kind of caught on fire uh, the last time that I was uh, here and had a bigger fire. So I really want to stop that happening again, which is part of the reason that I'm going to line this side of it with bigger rocks if I can. Now, I happen to know that the earth here, um, where I am, is quite rocky, so I have no idea how this is going to go. Uh, but we're going to give it a try and hopefully by the end of it we'll have a really cool rustic uh, stone line fire pit. As always, got my Hidden Woodsman Forest Ruck with me. Best pack, backpack going in my opinion. The ground around here is definitely full of rocks. Very, very rocky, stony ground. So I'm hoping that that won't impede me too much. But we shall see. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is mark out the kind of the size, and then I guess we're just trying to dig away the earth kind of thing. Thank you. 
Man, I wish I had a digger. <laughs> that made this a lot easier. You ever made a decision, started a project and then regretted it really quickly? Yeah, this is hard work, man. Ah. It's starting to get hot as well. That's why I'm sweating buckets. Really need to make sure I stay hydrated. But uh, I've been going for a little while and I've hit so many rocks, this is taking absolutely ages. My uh, spade is taking a bit of a beating, but we're getting there, slowly, we're getting there. I haven't decided yet whether or not to reduce the um, the actual space of the fire pit, because as I said, it's so rocky that it's taking an age to get through it. Um, so I might, I might shorten it slightly, but I haven't quite decided yet, so yeah. Oh man, damn you TA Outdoors and your cool fire pit. Oh. Right. Right, I'm done digging for now. I've had enough. Um, I know it's not drastically, uh, doesn't look drastically even at the moment, uh, and it's certainly not sort of all the way down and, and across, and the main reason for that is there's a massive log, uh, log. there's a massive piece of stone here that goes all the way across, uh, and if I try and dig that out with my spade, I think I'm gonna end up breaking it. So I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna go and get some rocks to line my um, fire pit and then see how we get on. It may be that I need to put some of the earth back in to sort of flatten it out and make it level, uh, but we shall see. The other reason that I haven't dug this part out is to the same depth as, uh, as the main part here is because I don't actually know how many rocks there are around here that I can use. That's something that I probably should have thought about first and gone and had a look for, but we'll work it out as we go. Um, so it may be that this needs to be filled back in, or it may be like I put a log here or something like that to, to make it look cool. Um, I don't know, or it may be that I find enough rocks and I can actually dig this out, but we shall see. This has come from but it looks pretty cool and it's almost a corner piece so see if we can make good use of this flipping heavy though Ugh. okay as you can see i decided i didn't like the weird little ridge thing that i had here so i've dug it out uh not drastically evenly but shh. anyway <laughs> so now i'm going to <clears throat> kind of making a line here where the start of that big rock uh, is so then I'm gonna line the bottom of this with rocks nice flat ones that I've managed to gather here uh, and then I'll build up the sides and I'll put something as I said before across the, uh, the front of the fire reflector to, uh, to keep it a little bit more um, protected now that I've dragged it all the way over here I'm not entirely sure I like this big um, corner piece that's made out of bricks so I don't know if I'll use it so I'm gonna put the rest of the bits in first and then see how I feel about it
Oh, wormy. Oh, crushed. Wormy, 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 wormy. Come on. Wormy guy, you can't be here. Get from here! Considering that bit's considerably higher, that's not going to work, so maybe this is a side piece. Something like that, maybe. Need some more flat stones. Okay, let's go stone hunting again. I wonder if I can bend this that way. I could do with that not being there. Or I could just turn it over. Turn it over. Falling over. Okay. I'm about done putting rocks in, I think. So the next step I think I'm going to do is back here where um, I didn't cut it particularly straight uh, I'm gonna fill back in with uh, a load of the earth that I took out earlier just to pack it down and make it look a little bit nicer um, and then I might put the logs back to see to see what that looks like so um, I'll get on with that and I'll give you a look once it's uh, once it's actually all finished I know it's a little bit uh, a little bit rough shot look but um, what's the word untidy but um, you know what I'm using the stuff that I have available to me this is these are the only kind of rocks that I could find um, and I don't at the moment have the knowledge or skill to kind of make cement and stuff out of mud to make it all really nice and smooth. Um, my plan at some point will be to learn how to do that, to have a look at it and see what kind of um, earth I need, whether it needs to be a certain kind of um, uh, mineral concentrate or something like that, I don't know. Uh, and I might come back at some point and, uh, and see about filling it in and making it all ridiculously nice and smooth with, uh, with cement-y type stuff. 
But for now, as I said, I'm just going to fill in these holes here at the back uh, and put the logs back and then I'll give you, uh, I'll give you a look at the finished product. Folks, we're done. My version or my take on a Viking fire pit, complete with a, uh, a cross beam to hang my cooking pot from. Well, I suppose the only thing left to do is christen my new fire pit with a fire. Uh, I am going to wait till later on in the afternoon uh, slash evening to do that, uh, namely because uh, I know it's about what it's about half past one, half past one, two o'clock now maybe, um, and it is really warm out, and I don't feel like. Um, having a fire right now um, because I'm actually going to be filming a second video now <clears throat> um, doing another little project around the camp so uh, I'm going to wait till this evening uh, but I will of course show you guys um, show you guys the first fire in my new Viking fire pit uh, as soon as I get it going um, but I'm going to call that the end of this video so thank you very much for watching guys as always I really really hope you enjoyed it uh, if you're new here please 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 hit that subscribe button press the bell to stay notified and I'll see you in the next video take care Oh,